my name is Bobby, and today we're going to do something really fun. We're going to create a community play setting. I made a couple already, and what we're going to do is create a placemat on a piece of paper. We're going to trace a pattern of a fork and a knife, and we're going to either decorate a, a round circle made out of paper or an actual paper plate and a, attach it to the placemat. The point of this whole thing is that we want to show our ethnic diversity at the same time being part of the community. I grew up in a, a household that was basically of European ethnic background. And so when we had different meals, they kind of lent themselves to our heritage. And I imagine a lot of people have the same thing. This is another plate. Um, I'm using the colors of the, the flag of Jamaica, and I found this manila envelope, which I'm using as a placemat background. So if you, if you wanted to just use an envelope, you can do that too. Also, as a placemat background, I just had this piece of paper that has some color painted on it. You can use construction paper, colored paper if you want. And this is representing Italy. It has the colors of the flag of, the flag of Italy and of course spaghetti and meatballs. So um, those are some of the things that you can do with what, what shapes make food. And I can show you different shapes and then Hopefully you have something underneath it so that you're not, you don't have to worry about the table you're working on. Um, place, placemats are pattern designs. Now, if you have placemats, goes on a placement we're going to have a fork and a knife so what we're going to do because we can't use a real fork and a knife it's way too heavy for our piece of paper what I want to do is show you how to trace a fork and a knife and if you don't have a fork and a knife just 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 look at the different shapes that a fork and a knife is I'm taking the t these are called the tines of the fork what colors you want your border to be especially if you're thinking about let's say you're thinking about doing the cuisine of China or uh, Japan or uh, Ireland or anything else you want to show what color you want to use a color border that lends itself to that type of food has their placemat if you have some tape or if you have a glue stick what I'm going to do is attach my plate to my placemat and I'm going to press it down and then I'm going to have my finished my finished 
um, community placemat. So this is what they should look like when you're done. You have your placemat, your fork and your knife, and your, your plate with your food in the center. Is everybody ready to hold up their plates? Have a very nice, great. Beautiful. I like the black checkered board. That's really nice. It's perfect. You have you have some work you can do still. And, and um, Kinga, what is that? <laughs> Looks like squares. All right. So thank you. Thank you all very much. You all did a wonderful job. And if you're not finished yet, don't worry. Just keep on working.